What's up, y'all? It's me, Tim, and welcome back to Memories Retold. All right, here we are back with Kurt. If you remember, we had just gotten done with, I think his name's Harry, and he had taken some photographs. So Kurt, he had found uh, that his son was stationed at some. So now apparently we've got to fix uh, the radio, as, as this uh, fine fellow has told us. So, let's go uh, find some ways to fix uh, the radio. I'm not sure where we need to go, to be completely honest with you. We will find it. All right, let's take a look around. I hope y'all are doing good today. I know that I am. At least I think I am. I've been wrong before. So let's take a look up here. Who do I need to see? Did it tell me in the list? It said uh, Gustav may have a replacement cable. He's in charge of supplies. So where are the heck is supplies? Um, I doubt supplies would be at the front. <laughs> this is just my guess. They'd, they'd be more apt to be in the Ria. Who's Gustav? I don't get no labels here. So let's go on down this ladder here. Let's see if we can find Gustav. So, I mean, are they going to tell me who Gustav is? You know, there was a, a place I wanted to go last time I was here. So let's go there. Before they kick me back out. All right, if you remember down here, we had came, and I thought this was the officer's area. It was not, but uh, let's let's go up. I wanted to use this. Okay. I wanted to use this thing here. I wasn't sure if it took me up or down or what, but we're getting ready to find out. Well, that was fun. Going up. Okay, so, where is Gustav? So this has put us back up here at the front, Krieg on the wall. The war will be over in a couple of months. Yeah, sure. Easy where you're aiming that thing, soldier. I honestly have no idea where to go uh, at this moment in time. That is coming out through there. So this is actually where we started. This is where the radio is at. Maybe this. Is, oh, this got to be supply here. Two stop. Hello, Kurt. Yeah. We got supplies in today. Here. Any news about Max? No, thank you. No, thank you. Thank you for the cable, sir. So let's go over and get this patch cable on. See what we can do to fix the radio. Yes, yeah, that is All right, there we go. Okay. Where's... So I want to assume. Okay, it looks like it goes here. So. No, maybe. Maybe. That's probably wrong. What the heck am I doing? Alright, I'll say I'll figure this out. Maybe. There we go. Here are today's reports. To radio for hours before I heard Bodies retrieved from IR-125. They are to be buried at some. I'm sure they would understand. They skipped a line. It, it said something for a brief second, and it skipped a line. Duty. And that's actually one of the, the good voice actors. As I write this, it reminds me of home, of the life we once had. Every day I ask for a transfer to the Somme, to Max. Every day I'm told no. It does not work like that, Kurt, they say. I will ask again tomorrow. 
As the days turned into weeks, persistent. I ran out of things to photograph. I wanted to get closer to the action, to take pictures Julia would be proud of. <laughs> you might have knocked me down with a feather the day Barrett came to me and said, Harry, get your camera. We're going to the front. Oh, Lord. Be careful what you wish for, Harry. April 1917. 19 months until peace. We're going to play as Harry. The front. What was life really like there? I'd photograph it all. So this is it, Harry. The front. All the comforts of home. Find yourself an empty dugout, then come meet me for a drink. You'll find one over there somewhere. Ask around. Have some fun. Definitely, I'll have some fun. And then you cannot turn the camera angle, apparently, in this trench. I feel like... Okay, maybe. Maybe. Okay, I see a door. Hmm. Okay. Major, you're a liar. Let's just go see you for a drink. Because I don't know what else to do. He told me to try and have fun. I got major walks fast. But there was nothing fun about Vimy. Pictures you'd see in the papers back home showed happy faces, clean uniforms. That's not what I saw. It's not the case. Any gentleman to talk to over here? Apparently not. So, uh... I mean, they have it look, look like they got it set up like a bazaar hey, here. New guy, you ever need anything, you come see me. I'll trade anything. Come back once you've settled in. Okie dokie. So I need to find a hovel of my own, apparently. He never actually said where I'd find a new, a new dugout, but you know what? The men scratched and dug at lice in their uniforms, covered head to toe in mud. There were more rats than men. And the smell was like an overflowing toilet. This was a million miles away from the adventure I expected. Oh, yeah. Hey, the mailman. Let's see if the mailman has anything to say. Hey, how are you guys? Right? How are you lumbered? Yeah. I've got a letter for you. Yes, sir. Well then, hit me with it. What, you just gonna stand there until I talk to you? <laughs> you jerk. Dear Harry. There it is. My first correspondence from the war. I'm delighted to hear from you, Harry. But I do wish you would use your photography talent in a slightly more positive manner. Thank you for the picture, but it looks very dangerous. Are they naval mines exploding in the ocean? I'm worried you were around to take such a photograph. I don't need to be reminded your life is in danger. Please find a newspaper clipping enclosed. It has a photo taken by Major Martin Barrett. I didn't know he was a photographer, too. He is such an impressive man. Don't you agree? Sincerely yours, Julia. Seriously, this girl's an idiot. And this is if terrible. If you want to send a picture home to your I, girl, I just don't like... you Never just mind. let me know. I'm not so sure I want to. Here, we'll send you a picture of, what was his name again? Raz? So that was a picture of the men working. This is a picture of Raz. No, we'll go with the men working. Send it to Julia. Because I don't even know what to do otherwise. This girl, apparently I didn't take a good enough picture of a boat for her. dugouts here, pal. Try closer to the front. They empty fast. Gotcha. That way. Man, I appreciate you pointing me in the right well, direction. Hey, bud. Noise. What's going on? Will we? Well, can I have your mug? It's a massive mug. I mean, once you're dead, you're not going to need it anymore. So let's look around here. Oh, we got somebody to talk to here. Brass will send us over soon. Everyone's saying it. Okay. You bat for the major, right? Get lost. 
Yep. Yes, sir. I'm his bat boy. But thank you. Ah, oh, I'm on the night shift again tonight. I'm sorry, sir. I'm so hungry. There's got to be somebody who's going to give me. Calm. Hey, come on. Quiet. It won't last. No, sir. It will not. He's dead. Or asleep. I can't decide which one. Heard we go right, to talk to me? You came here at the wrong time, my friend. Well, he wanted to see action. A few months, they said. Right, I think we need to go this way if we're going to find a, d a dugout. It's just my notions. Oh, come this on. This waiting around is killing me. Okay, that guy pointed over here. So which way do we need to go? So this is Major Barrett, isn't it? No, this is the mess hall. You get scared? To some degree. I'm not. Good for you, sir. I live in perpetual fear. It's like somebody's always sneaking up on me. Alright, we've got to find the spot so we can just get... They get the heck out of Dodge. Okay, so it has to be this way. A little cesspool. What we got here? Oh. Hey, come on, you. Talk to new me. Photographer. If you're looking for the front, I just follow am. the signs to hell. Yes, sir. That way. Hello. That's a new car, isn't it? They're gonna beat you up. They're gonna beat you up. <sighs> Harry, oh, you're here. I haven't seen you in weeks. Let's go play cards and catch up. Hey, Jess. The one positive guy on the front. Punctuals ever. You're relieving Lothar today. He's still down. Okay, I didn't read the rest of that because they switched scenes so fast. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I'm relieving Lothar. I hear they're transferring you out, Kurt. Four months is a long time to wait. Dear Catherine, let's hope you're still alive by then. I was sent underground again today. To the tunnels where we listened to the enemy. Lothar's shift mm -hmm. ended. His mind began. A secret back there, was there? Nope, no secrets. Some men do not take to the darkness, but as you know, I have grown accustomed to it well. Why did you Max do that? was scared of dark when he was oh. young. Do you remember? Leave the lantern on, Papa, he would say. <laughs> it would burn until morning. Right. Carry on. Nimm dir eine Lampe. Ohne siehst du rein gar nichts. Grab a lantern. You won't see anything without one. Yes, sir. I'll grab a lantern. Well, it's quiet down here. Duck down. Slow crawl to the end. Hey, bist du das tot? Hier drüben, schnell, schnell. Curtis, it's you. Oh, Quick, come here. There are noises above. Lothar, where are you, bud? Is he over here? I mean, okay, I see a secret, though. Battle schedule, part one of two. All right, so let's head this direction. Apparently that was a dead end. Oh, Lothar, I heard you, buddy. I heard it, you put the lamp down and listen. Okay. They're right above us. You can hear the Tommies laughing. So English. Probably on drink. 
or as loud as they call, Sir. As usual, you'll find the sound to translate. Right here. Everyone says we go over Monday, sir. Is that true? Oh, don't you boys worry about that. Just enjoy the whiskey. Tell the others there's more on the way. I'll see you gents later. <laughs> don't drink it all at once, eh? Huh. I heard you get the transfer request, They Kurt. granted my transfer oh, I was request, to him. Katrin. Perhaps they grew tired of my asking. It will not be until August, but they will send me to the sun, to Max. Which way did he go? Though I have grave news to share also. Lothar was killed in a cave-in, right? Right. Say as before, find the sound, I'll translate. Well, let me do it then. I come back here, full of authority, and I walk in here to immediately a man. Kurt, did you hear that? Where the hell do these rumors come from? Everyone's saying we attack on Monday. But, sir, I thought we do attack on Monday, the 9th, right? Yes, but they weren't supposed to find out yet. I need a bloody drink. Well, it's no secret now. Not to the Germans, anyways. So I've got to play cards now? Holy cow. Slap. Reach the required score to win. Press A to slap when two cards are the same. Other players gain points if you get it wrong. Oh my gosh. You've heard the rumors, right? We go over the top soon. So let me ask you a question. Would you rather lose the war and live, or win the war and die? I know my answer. I've had enough of all this. I want to go home. Come on, friend. It's only a rumor. People say these things all the time. Oh, crap! No! I got carried away. Yes! That's the dumbest game I've ever played. But we made it through it. Everyone's feeling so down about this rumor. Music always cheers people up, but my guitar broke last week. I've nearly fixed it. I just need something for the pegs. Have you ever seen Barrett's fancy steel flask? The one he drinks from? I think I could use that. Go and find him. He likes you. Maybe he'll just give it to you. I don't know about that. Um, so it just saved there. So guys, I think this is where we're going to call the episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button below. Subscribe if you have not. Hey, if you have any comments or suggestions on anything I should play, uh, please leave them down below. Let me know what you're, what you're interested in too. What made you subscribe? Well, guys, I hope you have a great day.